Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share with you my Monster High DIY dollhouse. I worked on it um, primarily in summer 2021, but I'm always adding little bits and pieces to it. The structure itself, this is a bookshelf from Target that we placed horizontally. Um, the cubes are about 11 inches high, so it's kind of a tight fit for Monster High, but I made it work. And every other cube did not have a back wall, so we filled that in with styrofoam but I think it came out looking pretty clean. And on the top part, that Cleo's room, um, that is just made of cardboard because I wanted to, I don't know, and it's kind of an extension. So yeah, and on the side, there's some extra storage of other things like the hydration station and the Jackie Locker that I just have tucked away. So yeah, let's get started. On the top, we have some excess display of Monster High dolls. So just a bunch of characters that didn't fit in the dollhouse itself. Um, and then back there, there's also the Monster High School playset, the original one, and I really love it. I got it used, so it doesn't have all of its furniture and accessories, but the ones I did have, I have used already within this dollhouse and my Ever After High dollhouse. Um, so right now it's just folded up because it was too big to fit on this um, top section, but I think it makes a great backdrop still for my dolls. So yeah, let's get started with Cleo's room. Oh, and as you can see, um, I've got a set of lights on this top floor and this midsection, Monster High emblem as well, and also some little spiderweb decorations um, that are rings, so yeah. <laughs> and now we can get started. So Cleo, I outlined her room with some golden rhinestones. There's also some blue ribbons and a bow. I have in the two corners some pillars which are made of paper towel rolls. I have an Egyptian image on this side. I have her cat here with some rice and some fruit. A side table I made um, with a artifact on it and also a vase filled with fruits because you know Cleo's favorite fruit is grapes. Now we have Cleo's vanity which is a Monster High playset and I got it used so it didn't have everything but I filled in with some various gold accessories, um, some mummy wrap and um, a jewelry box that I made. This is my custom Fred's Camera Action Cleo. She's sitting on just a box that I used as a stool and I gave her some food, which is an eraser. And yeah, this is the divider um, from the Fred's Camera Action playset. This bathtub came from like a lotion set for humans and I thought that this bathtub would make a good size for fashion dolls. So I added some buttons as knobs, a faucet and some ribbon as water put a little figurine that matched Cleo's color scheme and a brush in there. Um, in the back there's also some photos of Cleo and Deuce. There's a window here, some candles, and a caddy that I made for her that has some hair accessories on the top. So that is everything in Cleo's room. Now navigating down over here, this is Claudine's room. The top section has um, this beaded section that I took off of her bunk bed. Speaking of which, Claudine is sitting on the bottom half of the bunk bed. If you watch my Ever After High dollhouse tour, you'll see where the top part is. But I added a roll of blankets, a mirror, and some foodie mini brands that have meat in it because, you know, Claudine loves to eat meat. And I also gave her some DIY chicken wings. She also has a dress hanging on her wall because she is into fashion. Gave her a chandelier from Ever After High some Monster High photos on her wall. I have a side table for her that's a coffin. I put a like a caboodle on top. I gave her a shelf and it's got like a stereo on top of it, a sign that says a door. That's Howleen entering her room, growling at her probably. Um, we also have a coffin back there that can be her wardrobe. Next over here is her TV and monitor. On top of it, there's like a binder and some steak and hot sauce. Over here, um, she's got some pet beds. So one for Cushion and one for Crescent, who's currently eating some salami. And then I used the blanket from the bunk bed set to use as her rug. And yeah, and just some more Monster High decorations and Claudine pictures on this wall. So that is Claudine's room. Next, we move on to Jackie Laura's bathroom using pieces from her powder room playset. So Dracula herself is sitting in the bathtub. I also added some water paper 
to give it some more realism. Gave her a little trash can and a rug, some dead tired slippers, and we DIY'd this toilet out of a Tic Tac container. Also a caddy over here with some more toiletries and a big bow on the wall that matches her color scheme. I also gave her a chandelier and this is a shelf I made using the, um, the powder room play sets like tray. Added some accessories on top and a sign. And on top of the sink, I added a comb, bottle of soap, and some glitter. So yeah, Jackie Laura can get ready uh, in a relaxing mood every day in her powder room. Next, as you can see, Jackie Laura again. Um, I had more Jackie Laura furniture and I decided to uh, make use of it. So this is a different Jackie Laura um, from the Jackie Locker series. I love her dark hair. We've got her coffin playset, which is her bed. Really like this piece. Um, I also have a pillow from a Monster High keychain, and I added like a little laptop back there. A bunch of signs on the wall, including one of her and Claude. I also added a chandelier in this room, a dress, a mirror back there, a side table that has a portrait of her, a pink bottle, diary, pen, shopping bag. Down here, another rug and slippers another shopping bag, and a coffin that she can use as a wardrobe, and up here, a container from Monster High Minis that I'm using as a little house for Count Fabulous, so he's sitting on a little couch right there. And yeah, Draculaura is having a cup of tea. So that is Draculaura's bedroom. Next, we can move on to Laguna's bathroom, which is using pieces from Laguna's shower playset. So first we have a little mat on the floor that says dream big. On this side table, we have a Neptuna's sort of care station. So this is G3 Neptuna, and I have some fish snacks for her. Um, on this side over here, we could see hung up one of Laguna's dresses and a piece of luggage. We also have Laguna stepping out of the shower, and there's a fluffy bath loofah and the original Neptuna back there. And now we have G3 Laguna, my one generation three Monster High doll currently. And in my head, she's Laguna's cousin named Aquafina. So there she is sitting on the stool. Behind Aquafina is the sink. I added some water paper for some realism and a purse down there. Over here, we have a sports bag because Laguna is a swimmer. We also have this shelf that I added some different paper to to make it match. Uh, we've got a binder, laptop, mirror, um, purse, a bunch of accessories like that, water bottles, other toiletries, and some fun stuff down there, like a plushie and a cactus. So yeah, that is the room right there, and this is where the switch is for the lights, so I'll go ahead and turn that off so there's no glare. Okay. And now we can go down to some Monster High classrooms. First, here's the art classroom. There's multiple kinds of art covered in this. So first we have the ceramic station. So a student can sit there, grab an apron, and work on some pottery. And next we have the painting station. Gigi Grant is currently doing some paintings on the wall. Back there, there's an easel with some more paintings that have already been done. There's also a little photography station. On top of that shelf, there's a little pink camera and a bunch of little Polaroids that have been taken um, and they're drying, I suppose. Um, up there, some different rolls of fabric. Speaking of which, here's Katrine doing fashion design. She's got her fashion design sketchbook, and she's working on a dress for Frankie Stein on this mannequin. There's also on that stool two transparent violins, so they can be like some ghostly instruments, I suppose. And then some more wall hangings on this side and a little door. So that is everything in the arts classroom. Right in front of it, a little hallway sort of section with a locker, has some juice and a notebook on top. Next, we're at the mad science classroom. There's some more posters on this side and a chalkboard behind Cleo um, and another one that's in front of Gulia. So right now they're lab partners um, and there's a desk here from the original school playset. I added a book, some soda and a backpack. There's Sir Hootsala on that little shelf um, yeah, and some science accessories behind Gulia. In front of Cleo, this is a desk that I DIY'd a long time ago. 
um, and it's got a brain, a whisk, some different potions, some goo, some really um, big cat eye science goggles, just a lot of fun things to populate the mad science classroom. And right in front of that, another little hallway moment with Abby. Um, and we painted this wooden coffin to be a locker. It's got some snacks and some books inside. There's Shiver on top. There's Abby holding an Arctic freeze drink, which I think would be great for her cold tastes. And I also gave her a backpack. So yeah, I'll just move her out of the way so you can see the student lounge slash study howl back here. And I'll also move this staircase. This also came from the school playset, and I have it propped up to reach Dracula's bedroom. So yeah, here is the student lounge. We've got Torlai sitting in a chair. She's having some um, sushi and hot dogs. Underneath her chair, there's her pet Sweet Fang also having a snack. There's Elizabeth back there um, having a drink. And there's a little side table here with some more monsterific foods. There's the vending machine back there, which I filled with some monsterific snacks. Um, on this side, we have some popcorn um, and a popcorn machine. On top of that, a little TV for students to watch TV. Um, a game down there and Deuce's uh, pet rat. We also have some signs like this Monster High Picture Day sign, um, a bulletin board, and also a poster which is class of Monster High that has a bunch of students headshots. And yeah, there's um, that big purple couch back there that Elizabeth is sitting on. So that is everything in the student lounge. And lastly, we've got the Sweet 1600 party. So yes, once again, this is another Draculaura kind of room, but she's not here right now. But we have um, Operetta, Frankie and Claudine. Um, Frankie and Claudine are both in like dancing poses. I have some cobwebs in front of the party room. There's a shelf that's got some presents, champagne, cake, the Monster High emblem. There's a boom box down there for music. Um, on the walls, there's a bunch of different Monster High emblems, which can be party decorations. Um, in front of Operetta is like a little DJ booth. And also there's uh, like a garland that says boo. That's framing this room. Also in the right-hand corner, there's a Sweet 1600 sign. And on the floor, it's multicolored and glittery. So yeah, it looks like the perfect party room. And in front of that, Twyla is about to enter the party. She's at this door and um, I, I made this little pumpkin as well. It says boo. And yeah, and up there, I also have a piece from Monster High Packaging. It says Monster High, so I just tucked it in there. So yeah, with that, that concludes my Monster High dollhouse tour. I hope you enjoyed this um, video, and if there's anything in particular that you liked, please leave a comment below or leave a like. And yeah, once again, thank you for watching, and hope to see you next time.